A Pennsylvania grand jury has recently brought child sex abuse charges against nine men, all Jehovah's Witnesses, in what some are calling the most extensive investigation into the group in history. Fox 43 reveals the investigation will likely lead to an official report that could have major consequences for the Jehovah's Witness organization. The Jehovah's Witnesses organization is facing scrutiny in Pennsylvania following allegations of widespread child sex abuse by its members. Earlier this year, we broke the story about a state grand jury's upcoming report on that topic. Since last fall, we have charged 14 individuals connected to the same religious organization, the Jehovah Witnesses as part of this ongoing investigation into child sexual abuse. The group, also known as the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, has 8.7 million members worldwide, including 1.2 million in America and 83,000 in Pennsylvania. It was founded in Pittsburgh in the 1870s, breaking with Orthodox Christianity over its focus on Armageddon and separation from the world. And now Fox 43's Harry Lee uncovers how the organization is responding to those allegations and the whistleblowers who helped bring the concerns to light. This is a serious issue for whistleblowers like Martin Hawk, who I met in May. He was so devoted to Jehovah's Witnesses that even after he walked in on another member sexually molesting his four-year-old daughter, he didn't go to police for another 11 years. Now that he's gone public with his story, Jehovah's Witnesses have labeled him an apostate and warned other members not to engage with him. The couple had spoken to Fox 43 earlier this year about their frustrations trying to get justice within Jehovah's witnesses for their daughter's molestation in 2005. And I saw him assaulting our daughter. Even so after the third her, time, for away, a true believer, her, there was nowhere to turn. Satan. The Hawks relied on divine justice, not secular. Uh, the police are controlled by Satan, the justices. So we can't get justice for anybody out there. The world is lying in the power uh, of the wicked, wicked one. one. In 2005, they reported so the abuse to the elders, people. but not to police. You're told to wait on Jehovah. So they waited 11 years. I wish it was the child abuse that woke me up, but it wasn't. Hawk is now one of dozens of witnesses to testify before a Pennsylvania grand jury that's investigating an alleged systemic cover-up of child sexual abuse within the Jehovah's Witnesses mm. organization. <laughs> they eventually left and were disfellowshipped or shunned. The email warned that the Hawks, quote, are not one of us. Attention NS5s. There is a robot in this formation that does not belong. Identify it. One of us. The email also claims the Hawks have tried to get into past conventions by, quote, mingling with the crowd upon entry, dressing and acting as if one of us. Which one? One of us. It really hurt me, you know, because again, it's, it's their convention. They can determine who can come and who cannot. But on the other hand, when I was an elder, I was not allowed to inform the members of the congregation that there was a known child abuser in the congregation. What the f In February, I asked the attorney general if she was investigating the organization as a whole. Her response? This is an ongoing investigation. The attorney general's office says they still can't yes. comment on the investigation, but wrote in a statement, the relevance of the Jehovah's Witnesses organization to the investigation is outlined in the grand jury's presentments regarding each defendant who has been charged. Those presentments articulate incidents where defendants use their positions of authority within Jehovah's Witnesses congregations to build trust with children who they later abused. Now, multiple sources confirm the state attorney general's office is investigating the organization, with a report likely to follow. The grand jury investigation is moving forward. This week, one of the 14 Jehovah's Witnesses that the Pennsylvania attorney general charged for child sex abuse became the first to plead guilty. We, of course, will continue following this story and bring you updates on air and on Fox43.com. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.